Hi, this is Bell Wicket, and this is our 11th episode of The, the Broom, Broom Closet. Closet. The, uh, the theme of this episode is going to be ritual, just because we decided that it would be a good topic to um, discuss. So, um, what we're going to start off with is a really important topic when it comes to ritual making, or preparing, or just ritual in general, is um, ritual attire. So we're gonna, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have Star, Rowan, and um, Egypt Rain model Sky. what? I'm sorry, Sky, <laughs> Rowan Sky. And uh, we're gonna have the three of us model what we normally wear to um, covens or just the the type uh, style of what we wear. So jump in, Sky. Let's see what you've got going on. Okay, so Sky likes to wear cloaks. He has two of them. This is one that he doesn't often sport. Um, it's black, and what's the material made out of? Velvet. Okay, so um, cloaks have been worn for rituals for centuries, from the beginning of time. Um, shit. It's quite versatile, actually. You can take the hood off. You can take the hood back on. Um, I would wear this to, to a ritual, uh, more of a sabbat ritual, because sabbats to me seem more. You want to be more mysterious and more magical about it. So um, cloaks to me represent like uh, extra magic and extra uh, mystical feels of the ritual. So I'd wear this cloak to there. Um, okay, some people, depending on who you are or what type of ritual you're going for. They like to stick with a certain theme or a certain type of material, and um, this is, we we kind of, we don't have like, we don't have the money to buy several different materials and make our own little cloaks, but, so we just, we just stick with, well I don't wear cloaks, but we just stick with what we have already. So this look would be something that I would, uh go just to a regular ritual, nothing fancy, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. Um, it The weather obviously would be a little bit warmer because I'm wearing a tank top. Um, just regular pants that are comfortable, you can like crouch down yep. and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do your little ritual on the ground if you want to. Um, I've got like, it's, it's very breathable material, I feel like I'm doing an infomercial for this new type of shirt. Um, breathable <laughs> material, I've got tennis shoes on because we usually do rituals outside in the wilderness. Very comfortable. So mm -hmm. you want you want to you know you want to stick with comfort. If you're if you're going for like a certain type of um, style or feel for your look for your ritual to help you get in the mood, try and make it as comfortable as possible. You know, depending on where you're going, um, what what time of day it is, the weather. And speaking of weather, weather changes. You got a coat, make it nice. I've got Abercrombie right here. Look at that nice style. Um, <laughs> just when it's cold, put a, put a jacket on, always bring a jacket with you, especially in the wintertime or in the fall or even spring because it can get cold all of a sudden. Um, a thing we normally don't plan for is rain, so always bring a coat with a hood. No one um, plans for me. <laughs> <laughs> no one plans for me. No, I'm kidding. So. So, you know, if you're a dude, you, you don't have to get all fancy dressed up, you know, your casual look. Just be comfortable. Just perfect, yeah. Just, just make sure you're comfortable. You don't have to wear anything special. Um, Rowan has a specific type of jewelry that he wears for his rituals. It I is my a little... pentagram. Well, I'm sure you see it in a, a lot of videos. And I also have a pentagram ring. Cool. So yeah, um, specific types of jewelry you can wear for your, for your ritual to get in your state of magical witchy mind. Some people do that. Time. Some of us don't. Okay, moving on. Jump in, girl. So here we have Star. Star, ooh, Star's very versatile in what she wears, honestly. I like. Star likes to go with flow. She, she wears things that flow naturally, that make her feel comfortable. She always looks good. Gosh. Star. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a flowy dress. Do you wear boots often? 
I do. I do wear boots often, but I, I don't pay it doesn't attention. work with the ground all the time. So I try to keep flats and tennis shoes. Wearing tights, this is more a fall look. I'm wearing tights in this cottage because it gets really cold up here in Washington. See, I can untie it and just keep warm. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Mm -hmm. So. That's Star for you. That's what she likes to wear to her mm -hmm. rituals. I don't even know what it's to really say. It's really comfortable. And it's even got long sleeves, the dress. So It's quite versatile. Over there. Kitty. It is versatile. I can wear this um, without the tights. I'd probably wear this in the summer. I can roll up the sleeves. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's a little warm. So yeah, um, basic ritual attire for, for Star. This is what she likes to wear. This is Star. This is my necklace. Is that what you wear to rituals all day? I, I usually, I wear a lot of different necklaces. This one is given to me by Egypt um, when she was down in California. And I wear it a lot and it brings a lot of magic and Oh, fire. I did get that for you. Yeah, this is my fire necklace. I also have a tree of life necklace that I wear a lot. It's beautiful. Okay, let's move on to Egypt Rain. All right. Here we go. So, this look is a very uh, cutesy summer dress. Um, she's got the boots on the side. Um, she really doesn't care whether she wears heels or not to Ritual because she goes anyway. She okay. wants to look good. I always, I, I have to look good. Okay, that's me. And I mm -hmm. always wear heeled boots. Yes. Well, not necessarily heeled, but I always wear boots no matter where we're going. We're often like, and we go to the forest a lot and there's lots of sticks and rocks and stuff. And it's, it's an ankle killer, but I do it. I, I think it's comfortable for me. That's me. Mm -hmm. Um, I often wear, I like to wear flowy clothes. Sometimes I wear tight jeans or leggings, casual, depending on what I feel, depending on the ritual. Um, and I wear a lot of white. I like to wear white clothes for my for my stuff. I don't have any specific jewelry. I just wear what I feel like, and I I, I get I can get in my state of mood, uh, state of mind, depending on anything. Like I don't have to wear something certain. Um, to change this look into more of a fall slash winter um, attire, you can add tights and add a small jacket to go over the top. Um, obviously, rain straightens her hair, so she would need a top with a hood uh, to make sure she didn't get rained on. I wear my leather jacket a lot. Mm -hmm. A do. leather jacket would look really good so with this outfit. That I guess that's my ritual attire. Yes. Sometimes so. we stick with themed um, themed clothing, themed colors, depending on what ritual we're doing, what time of year it is. Okay, so we're going to move on to another topic, state of mind. So like I said, you know, um, attire really can help you get in a state of mind, but you don't necessarily have to follow a certain attire for yourself. Just as long as you, as long as your mind is clear for what you're about to do, your mind, body, spirit, you should be good to go. Just make sure there's no clutter blocking your energy from making magic okay so we're gonna um we're gonna move into the last topic of this episode and it is about altar setups so what we have is a basic altar setup mm. a deity setup a meditative setup we have a sabbat setup yule since it's that time of year mm -hmm. and we have the tarot so let's start with the basic altar I'll explain this one. Okay. So hold on. Let me just pull these up. All right. Is it on? Is it focused? Yep. Okay. So for your basic altar setup. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, we've got a small um, altar setup. When you do ritual, you don't want to make things too complicated. So all of these rituals or these altar setups that we have are very simple. Uh, for this setup, this is the basic one. It's called the elemental setup. Uh, we have four water chalice. Uh, for earth, we have a pentacle. Uh, for um, air, we have a wand. Uh, this is my first one that I ever made myself. Um, and this is uh, athame for fire. Um, remember to keep everything simple. Put everything in its uh, quarter that it goes in. Um, wand would go in the east. Uh, athame would go in the south. Um, the chalice would go in the west. And the... Uh, I keep saying, um, it's okay, I say it the pentacle would go in the north. So, um, we've got little cute tables. So this is just a basic on. example for, um, 
Um, you can do it for any type of ritual. Mm -hmm. This is a basic setup for anything. You can use this as a basis for anything. This is your main thing. Okay, so we're so. going to go to the next altar. Mm -hmm. And this is the deity altar. Any deity you want. This one is going to be Hathor. Hathor. So you want your main deity. You want your deity in the middle. And any correspondences around, around your deity. Um, it, so, some people like to specif specif specify the placement of the of the of the tools. You don't necessarily have to. I mean, we didn't used to always do that, but we've kind of gotten into that. So what I have is three red candles because Hathor, I know wears red sometimes. <laughs> so so that's my correspondences to mm -hmm. that. And Make sure when you're doing it. A deity altar to keep it simple because if you're trying to focus on one thing you want to make sure you keep your focus on that one thing so that's why we have these smaller candles to illuminate what is in the middle which is the the deity sculpture statue right so. on so let's move to the meditative altar we get the crystals sorry if this camera's shaking i just gotta pull up these things <clears throat> I'm shaking it a lot, just saying. Oh dear, can you... Oh, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> it's okay. Is it necessary? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Earth to you. Oh. Earth. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so for this, this is our meditative altar. Um, this is just a few examples. You don't have to... You don't have to necessarily have all of these. It depends on, you know, you, what you want to meditate on. If you're a fire person, stick with a candle flame, you know, simple, easy, not distracting, meditate on the flame. If you're an if you're if you want to meditate on incense, you know, air, here's your incense right here. Just light it and breathe it in, however you meditate with it. Here we have a crystal ball. Um, if you're a crystal meditator, Use the crystal ball. I, I've tried that a couple times. It's a little hard for me. But um, here we have simple little crystals, you know. 12, 11. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, well, we got to speed this up. Yeah, just basically whatever you're meditating on, make sure it's just usually just one thing to meditate on. You set it on the altar and set it up in a, in a, a more I mystical, we beautiful setup. cut them. I thought we were going to cut them. Well, we were. <laughs> Until it just kept Feel going. Like now it's okay. This yeah. is all right. So here's the Yule. So this is what a Yule altar setup. I'm, what the am the I candle. Getting? Oh. Here's a simple little Yule setup. You can go into as much detail as you want with the Sabbat setup. Mm -hmm. However you feel. You can add as much stuff if, if, uh, if well, as you fun. want, but... We're little, keeping this one simple. This so basic. this one, um, we are keeping it with the elemental theme. We have an icicle, a fake icicle for the wand in the middle. Um, this is just uh, just a representation of uh, the Yule energy, the winter energy. Mm -hmm. So we have a snowflake. Uh, for Earth, we have a, a, a lighter colored stone. Uh, this is rose quartz. For fire, we have a silver colored uh, uh, candle and for water we have um, you don't have to use blue liquid or nothing We just wanted to make it look a little bit more Christmassy and more Yule themed. So we have a clear glass with some um, it's a Scented scented liquid something and we have a whiter altar cloth. So um, remember to keep it simple unless you're like uh, Instead of doing like a ritual you're doing like a celebration You can have a celebration altar just sitting there, you know for people to look at you can make it more complicated Just try to keep everything simple Okay, so Ornaments. the last altar setup we have. No. Oh, not the last one? No. Nope. Oh. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Come on, move it, girl. <laughs> the, the last altar setup we have is the tarot altar setup. So let's move quickly. This is Crystal's Star's specialty. Okay. Okay. So. This one's very simple. What I have here are three cards. You can use any three cards, or just one card, or two cards, more than that. We have, uh, this is the cloth I use to wrap my cards in. It's very special to my cards. It matches the color, and the stone is a purple agate. It matches, and it, it belongs with these cards. They are, they're more ethereal, uh, mystical creatures, so I have my little fairy right here. Um, it's very simple. You just 
focus on the card, you do your little spell with your tarot card, you do a reading. It's really simple and little things to help you get focused. Nice okay. said. So, that is the end of our broom closet episode. Ritual. Um, yes, we themed it ritual this time. So, if you have any questions or you want to have your idea or your... Uh, your theme on the broom closet episodes just uh, comment on this video and we will check out your comments and put them into consideration we definitely want to see a lot of comments a lot of questions um, I love your insights yes. hi I like to make a shout out to Phoenix Ryan a good friend of ours who would absolutely love to be in one of our videos yes so you can find us at uh, on Facebook um, it, our like page is facebook.com slash bellwicket with two t's um you can also email us at the house of bellwicket at yahoo.com and another yeah. another facebook thing is our facebook group page if you'd like to be a part of our group and figure out um and see all of our events um it is uh just type in bellwicket coven and you'll find our group page and our tumblr is the House of Bell Wicket at Tumblr.com. I'm not sure how that really dot works. Tumblr dot com. Dot Tumblr dot com. Don't we have a Twitter? No. Well, it's not being used at the moment, but it will be soon. So, we've got to cut it off now. So, um, no. oh. thank right. you for watching, and uh, blessed be. Blessed be. Peace.